Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Rick Tech. Today's episode, I am going to discuss about the 858H90 full face and low torque modified connection. As usual, we discussed in uh, 758 HNND connection uh, how to identify in the full face and low torque connection. And the same procedure is using to identify the 858 HNND full face and low torque modified connection. In previous episodes, I made a video for uh, to how to identify the low torque and full face modified connections. Uh, the way of identifying uh, low torque and full face connections. As usual, 85 h 90 box connection can identify with the help of counterboard dia. There is two way to identify. 858 H90 full face and low torque modified connection. In both ways, we can identify the connection that is uh, through the visual and uh, second is uh, dimensionally. Visually, if you are familiar with the H90 or 858 H90 connections, you can easily identify with the help of uh, the design and uh, thread style. You can easily identify. And the second way is uh, dimensionally. You to check the for uh, identify the box side connection to measure the counterboard dia on uh, box side. Eight five sixteen is the counterboard layer of eight five eight H N D full face connection, and the the maximum counterboard layer is eight twenty five by sixty four. Uh, that means you can get the reading between eight five sixteen and eight twenty five by uh, sixty four. In between that uh, eight. 5 by 16, 8 5 by 16 and 8 25 by 64 that you can get to the dimension then uh, you can ensure that the connection is uh, 8 5 by 8 full face connection a uh, full face uh, we discussed in uh, a lot of uh, previous episodes uh, for a face is uh, fa seal width is uh, high and low torque is less uh, seal width so you can easily identify uh, through the seal width one more method is uh, the count uh, after the counterboard depth there is a taper uh, to start the first thread uh, this both ways you can easily identify the lot of 
modify the connections. H5 bit H90 low torque modified connections countable dia is 9 uh, 3 by 8. The maximum length is maximum uh, countable dia is uh, 9 716. 1 by 60 is extra. Uh, yeah, 1 by 16 is higher than the normal value. Uh, normally, normal countable dia is 9 uh, 3 by 8, and as usual, countable depth is uh, low torque connection is less. Uh, countable depth is a minimum is 9 by 32. Uh, you can get it in the field 3 by 8 uh, something. That is a manufacturing criteria. And the pin side, pin side is uh, uh, as usual uh, two ways to identify the connection. The first is uh, SRG dia. There is a stress relief features available on the connection. You can check the uh, SRG dia. SRG means stress release groove. There is a groove on uh, before the first thread. Uh, you can check the SRG diameter and if there is no SRG you go through the taper dia or pin cylinder dia or standard dia the Taper dia of 8 fibit H90 is 8 1 quarter inch. Uh, normally, the uh, standard dia or pin cylinder dia will come uh, 8 3 by 16 uh, plus or minus 1 by 32. Uh, that is a tolerance. Uh, counterbore dia and uh, taper dia tolerance is on 60 1 by 16 inch and uh, standard dia. Uh, and a taper dia tolerance is maximum 1 by 16 but you have to give the uh, plus or minus 1 by 32 tolerance the pin length is uh, 6 uh, 11 16 the Full face counterbore dia is uh, 8 5 by 60 and the low torque counterbore dia is uh, 9 3 8 and the SRG dia is uh, 7 11 16 and the taper dia, uh, taper dia is 8 1 quarter. If the connection is low torque or full face, the pin standard dia will be same. If the connection is low torque or full face step pin standard dia and srg dia both are uh, both will be same uh, but uh, in bauxite uh, there is a changes in um, counterbore because the seal width is uh, in full face seal width is high so the counterbore dia is less uh, 7 11 16 in a low torque modified connection seal width is less so the counterbore dia will be high that is 938 thank you thank you for watching rectech see you in next episode with another fa connection thank you once more thank you thank you for watching rectech